This is Reframe, the podcast from the College of Education, Health, and Society on the campus of Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. In this episode, we speak with a kinesiology and health graduate who built a very successful and fulfilling career by taking a pretty unexpected route, one not often associated with professionals in her field. But her current role is actually part of a growing trend that's seeing many industries place a higher priority on health and wellness, and in really interesting ways. Anyone who's ever driven for a long distance probably knows how demanding it can be. Disrupted sleep schedules, a lack of nutritious roadside eating options, increased isolation, prolonged periods behind the wheel, can quickly introduce a battery of stressors that make it really difficult to stay healthy on the road. But now, imagine doing this day in and day out, all day every day, and for years on end. And it's not hard to see why truck driving can be a rather unhealthy profession. And drivers are certainly not alone. Similar issues stretch across the entire industry. Transportation is a very unique kind of niche spot where they don't have the same schedule every day. They work in environments that are unique uh, in terms of space and most of the time don't get paid unless they're sitting down. That's Allie John. She's a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and the manager of corporate wellness for Werner Enterprises. And she's a graduate of Miami University's didactic program in dietics. And for those outside the industry, transportation might not seem like the most obvious career for a dietitian or a nutritionist. I definitely think that what I do is something that most dietitians wouldn't see that they could do. Dietitians in a hospital is definitely the norm. But there is certainly a great need for the work she does. On average, truck drivers have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and increased obesity rates. Most also get less than six hours of sleep daily, have less opportunities to stay physically active, and they tend to smoke more. And these are just some of the health concerns that John helps alleviate. And it's a professional role she began pursuing as a dietic major at Miami University, where she landed a field experience with Verizon, which then led her into the transportation industry, first with CSX, a major railroad company, and now with Werner, one of the world's largest truckload carriers. Today, she single-handedly orchestrates a wellness program for more than 12,000 employees. However, until recently, Werner's wellness program was mostly limited to its corporate headquarters, serving only about 1,400 people. But since John has joined the company, the program has expanded to include the nearly 10,000 professional drivers who make up most of the company's workforce. And these are the same people who also face those serious health and wellness risks, those health concerns that can not only destroy their health, but also their entire livelihoods. A lot of that is because little known facts, but drivers have to be pretty healthy um, in order to continue to drive. So they have to pass, you know, CDL physical, um, and a lot of those CDL physical markers are related to wellness health, so nutrition, exercise, um, physical activity, sleep patterns, those kinds of things. If they take their CDL physical and it turns out they have diabetes, they can't drive anymore. So not only is that our lifeline, as in Werner as a company, but it's also a driver's lifeline. If you can't drive, you're not getting paid. John's mission is to engage as many employees as possible, and her program spans across a comprehensive campaign designed to help every Werner associate, especially professional drivers, eat well, train well, drink well, be well, and sleep well. And to achieve this goal, all Werner drivers now receive direct health-related information through an in-cab communication device. She's also implemented Wellness Wednesdays that offer quick and simple health tips and also a variety of additional quick reference guides that keep other important information continually top of mind, especially as it relates to a life on the road. Wellness is something that you have to meet somebody where they are. Um, So everybody generally wants to be slightly healthier. They just really don't know how to do it. Um, So communication and communication in a variety of different ways, I think is really key. And communicating in a way that says, I understand what you're going through, but here's how you can get there too. For John, there may be many unique considerations that are specific to the world of transportation. But overall, these are strategies that are now being embraced across most industries, which is also creating more and more opportunities for new health and wellness professionals everywhere. So healthcare costs is going up and up and Americans, unfortunately, are 
less and less well with every passing year. Um, all those obes- obesity statistics that say, you know, Americans are larger than ever, and obesity is a precursor to a lot of these disease states that really wellness programs can help to alleviate. Um, so I think it's a it's a growing industry for companies to kind of see that healthy people who show up to work and who can work are really important. So the ideal goal of any wellness program, I believe, is to drive down the cost of health insurance for the employer and for the employee. Healthier employees cost less for both the company and to themselves. And that can be a win-win for everyone, even for John, who gets to see the real difference she makes in the lives of others. I'm really proud when people ask me what I do. I definitely puff up my chest a little bit and tell them that this is what I've got the great chance to do. But really my biggest pride comes when my associates achieve their goals. When I'm dealing or working or, you know, closely hand in hand with someone who say has high blood pressure and they're a hundred pounds overweight and they start to see that progress and that success that they can have as they get their healthy eating habits and maybe incorporate a little bit more exercise into their their daily lives and their success is so huge for me uh, even though it really has nothing to do with me it's their own personal success and I take so much pride in their success and that's my goal 